Hey guys, welcome back to Status Detail, and today we ask the all-important question. Do you need snow tires to drive in winter time, to drive through snow? Just, is it worth it? And, you know, are snow tires a gimmick, or do you need uh, all seasons, and what about summer tires? Do summer tires cut it? So, let's jump into it. So I grabbed my S6, which is one of our daily drivers. It has Soto Zero Pirelli winter tires on it. I got into this lot here, which is half plowed, half not. So we've got, a, I don't know, a good three to four inches of snow over here. And I'm basically just going to set up some tripod shots. I'm going to show you taking off from a standstill with trash control, without trash control. I'll do some braking shots so you guys can see how the car just reacts, how it stops, how it brakes. And then we'll take a quick drive on the street and we'll just talk about my impressions of winter tires, if it's worth it, and why I have them on this car. Stop here. We're in a pretty good amount of snow and I'm just going to basically floor it. We have trash control on. We'll see how we do, how, how we get off here. And I mean, we got going pretty good. You know, that was pretty pretty quick. We got through that. We can turn. We can turn through this stuff pretty easily. I mean, I have full 100% mobility. I'm gonna pull in front of the camera here so you guys can see I'm gonna do a turn. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to turn right in front of this camera. And you can just see I have full 100% mobility. I can do whatever I want in this parking lot. I can turn. I have control of the car though. And that's what's most important. So with traction control on, this is just like full throttle. The car is really managing for me. You know, this is I have the the pedal to the floor. Trash control is managing the throttle. Um, you know, I have full ability to just drive where I want to. This is not not a problem. It's all easy. So we're gonna break now in front of the camera. Hopefully, you can catch this. Okay. I'll back up and try and do it again. And you can see how much traction we have when I just reversed. And now our old cross is swinging. I'll do this one more time so you can see the braking. You know, we, we have a lot of control here, so we can really we can really get going pretty good. Um, here, I'll turn traction control off. Stabilization control, sport warning, reduced stability. All right, so we have traction control off now. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I'm gonna kind of floor it, uh, and just so you can see the difference of basically how these snow tires grab traction and really, you know, get the get the snow out from underneath the tire. And you really see why traction control is so good at what traction control does, because you know the car basically does a stationary burnout in the snow. Uh, but if you kind of manage it and you kind of let that throttle in and out, you get a little more control, and you can start doing some snow drifting. And you can kind of, you know, you can kind of manage it. Here, I'll try and do this in front of the camera so you can see it. You know, once you get traction control off, you really can start kind of swinging the car around. And uh, you know, bottom line. I cannot do what I'm doing right now on snow tires or on, on summer tires. You cannot do what I'm doing right now on summer tires. And uh, that's pretty important, you know, to, to understand. So here, we'll put trash control back on because honestly, it's just better to drive it that way. And uh, we'll pull out of here. So you can obviously see snow tires make a big difference, right? We have a lot of traction. We have really a, a good ability to stop, a really good ability to get moving. Uh, right now we're driving on a little bit of snow, very, very small. I can see pavement and, uh, you know, I can drop this down into third gear and hopefully you can hear the engine. You know, that was uh, a legal amount of about 50 miles an hour on a 50 mile an hour road but we had plenty of traction, right? I mean, we, we got going pretty good. It's very cold. It's 20 degrees, so it's well below freezing. It's snowing out a little bit. I can see pavement, but right now I'm driving through clear, just snowy road. And uh, the car hooks up, you know, as, as it should. It's got great traction. I have a lot of confidence in this car to get me where I'm going. I have a lot of confidence to get around this turn. I literally just passed the car that was off the road in a ditch. I would help him if I had toe straps or something, but I don't. Uh, so, I mean, it's slippery out. That guy slid off the road. We're confidently driving this car right now, which is what snow tires really do, right? They instill a lot of confidence in you to, you know, for example, take this turn I'm about to take. And I have no concerns that we're going to slide off the road or have any problems. And I can. As you can hear, I can accelerate, you know, and I'm, I'm very confident in, in the car because of the tires that are on it. That doesn't mean you can drive like a crazy person. It does not mean that you can do 100 miles an hour on the highway. That's, that's 
irresponsible and you shouldn't do that. Snow tires simply allow you to safely go where you want to go in the winter, especially when it's very cold and when it is actively snowing. Now, all season tires, will they get the job done? Yes, my S4 has, this is an S6, I have an S4 as well. The S4 has Continental DWS snow tires. Those are amazing, fantastic tires. They work pretty well in the summertime when it's hot, pretty good traction, obviously summer tires are better. And obviously these winter tires are better than those tires in the winter, but I don't feel like I'm going to get stuck and I could have done just about everything I did in that parking lot without getting stuck on those DWS Continental tires. But this car is more agile. If we made a little racetrack and we raced through the snow, like in that parking lot snow, this car would, would monster it. Would, it would go through it in two seconds and the S4 would be considerably slower. So snow tires are better. They have better traction, more confidence to drive it, and you can go faster in bad conditions. That doesn't mean you should. It just means you're safer. So snow tires are definitely better than all seasons. We detail a lot of Teslas and Teslas come with summer tires, but you Tesla guys were always saying, um, you know, do I need snow tires? Is it worth it? So if you have summer tires, absolutely no brainer if you have the budget to buy a cheap set of wheels and put winter tires on your car and then keep your summers on your OEM nice wheels for summertime, okay? No brainer. Now, opinion, there are no drawbacks to having a set of winter tires and summer tires besides the fact that you need to switch them uh, every season and you need to store the other uh, set of wheels you're not using. So if you're, you know, tight on storage or something, I get it. Uh, you know, all seasons might be for you in that case, like you live in a condo, but there are always storage options and different places will store tires for you, which is nice. Uh, so you just need to look into options that you have available. Dealerships usually will store winter sets for you, like BMW does it, I know, in, in our local Chicago area. I've driven this stretch of road pretty often on the channel, and we've been doing it a couple times. I did it in the McLaren Senna. <laughs> kidding this thing is really like it's squirrely all of those cars were on summer tires you can see today we actually have snow on the road and you can see as of right now we're doing exactly 40 miles an hour here which is basically the speed limit i think you can do 40 or 50 here there's there's really no posted speed limits we're pretty far out in the country as you can see and uh you know we have a lot of confidence to, to get through this uh, amount of snow there's you know it's a little icy out because it's 19 degrees it keeps getting colder and uh you know if i needed to stop in a, in a in a heartbeat to not hit this guy because he swerves off the road or something we would be totally fine and i'm going to take this uh this turn in a second and hopefully this guy will go a little faster so i can do it a little faster because i want you to show i want to i want you guys to see how in this turn we have a lot of grip right we have a lot of control in this turn 
and we don't have that in uh, some of these other videos like the R8. That was about 30 miles an hour, uh, 25, 30 miles an hour. And you can just see in the car, it's zero issues going through that turn. Whereas when we did that in the R8, we were doing like 18 miles an hour in fourth gear and the car nearly slid off the road. And it was not, it had nothing to do with me driving it had everything to do with the tires. And you'll see, we'll probably lose traction for a second there because there was a lot of snow and you know, it grabs that traction right again. So again, we have so much, uh, the best word I can think of here is that we have so much control and so much grip really driving through these conditions. And I'm not quite sure what happened here, but it looks like this gentleman here, again, slid off the road. So you can see, you know, we have bad conditions out today, guys. Uh, I don't know, he must have uh, caught some, you know, again, you see it's all snowy. So he must have caught some snow and slid off to the right side of the road and then he lost control. We have traction control on and the car just gets going. You know, it's not having a hard time at all. And just like that, we're doing about 35 again. And we have just all of all the control if i want to you know kind of steer around i wouldn't really want to do this with all, all seasons i would just be driving slowly carefully in a straight line i wouldn't be tempting anything yeah i'm glad these guys are helping each other out that truck is is, is pretty far in there man unfortunately and this looks like uh it looks like it might be a little bit of a younger kid driving the pickup truck so you know it, it can happen to anyone man when you're driving on not great tires and you're in a situation where it's snowing like this and it's very slippery and it's very cold you could be driving for 50 years it could be your you know your third year driving you could be driving for six months guys it's really easy to fly off the road when you don't have any traction because it's not up to you anymore it's just it just becomes really dangerous um and that's kind of what this video is about and that's why we're talking about snow tires today because that's no joke that can happen to you if you're driving on the wrong tires just like that you know we can pull away from it like it's no big deal and we'll, we'll take some turns here and uh and show you this road over here because i just want to show you this road because i've been driving it on the channel and uh you know there's a car coming on the other side of the road there and again like you have confidence that you know you're not going to hit that guy because you know the tires are going to take care of you whereas if i am doing that in all seasons i would have done the exact same thing but i would have done it slower because i would have known there's a good possibility that i have traction but it's going to break loose and i could slide into that guy to totally i totally on accident um, I also don't know if he has summer tires or if he has all seasons and if he's not going to be able to stop. So he might just keep sliding through the intersection. So that's why I like snow tires uh, for like a braking aspect of I always know I'm taken care of, right? I know I'm not going to slide through the intersection. So I always know that I'm going to make it around safely. Uh, and you know, when, when it's bad weather like this or when it's even worse than this, like standing like the parking lot, but on the streets, two, three inches of snow on the street, I'm not taking my S4 to the grocery store when I run out of food. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna chance it, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna take this car because it's like a tank. Uh, guys, I could basically, it looks like another car flew off the road on the left here. I could basically take this car through three, four, five, six inches of snow. I have so much traction like you saw in that parking lot that I could plow the road with the front bumper of this S6. That's how much traction I have. And you can see it's icy, we have ABS kicking in here. Uh, you know, you, you want to be smart when you have snow tires. You're not literally, you know, literally driving like an Abrams tank or something. So you got to be smart. You got to know when to slow down. You got to slow down early and take the corners safely. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just a confidence thing, guys. It really lets you know that if you need to go somewhere, you got to go to the doctor or something happens, you got to go to an ER or something, you can get yourself there, you know, no problem. Super easy. And again, this is the second, this is actually the third car uh that's flown off the road it looks like these two people maybe hit each other um there's a cop up here now so we can't really fly around these guys but uh you know this is again no joke we're kind of out in the country guys it's very cold very icy it's snowing you can see hopefully how there's uh snow blowing across the road which makes these snow drifts on the road and uh you know it becomes very very slippery very dangerous and cars fly off the road and when you have a set of good snow tires on your car, guys, you are not going to fly off the road if you're being responsible and smart. You know, that's just not going to happen. I, I keep saying the word confidence and I, you know, that it's got good grip and you probably sound, think I sound like a broken record. But while we're taking this short drive and we pass three cars that have crashed off the road, I hope that stinks in that like the word confidence and, you know, grip and all these things like I'm not joking around. People are literally flying off the roads crashing their cars will have insurance claims have damage to their cars and instead of thousand dollar snow tires have me driving through the street filming a youtube video for fun about how good these tires are while people are literally crashing their cars just trying to go to work or go to the grocery store 
So it's really, uh, it's really a real thing. Snow tires are no joke. If you're in the market for snow tires, or you're wondering maybe do I need snow tires? The answer usually is yes, go buy some snow tires. If you have the budget for it, it's a no brainer. Uh, if you are concerned about budget or storage, or you don't have a car where you want to have two sets of tires, buy the best all season tires you can buy. I can highly personally recommend Continental DWS tires. That's what's on my S4, those are great. I could have filmed the exact same video safely doing that car with those tires. Like I've said time and time again here, the only difference is I can be more safe, more confident and go faster and when I say faster, I mean basically just meet the speed limit, um, you know, with confidence. And that's what we're doing today in this uh, in this S6 little video. So if you're curious what I'm driving right now, we're driving a 2013 Audi S6 and we have Pirelli Soto Zero tires. And we can pop it down into a couple of gears and give you some S6 audio. Hopefully you can hear this car. It does sound pretty good, but it's rather quiet with the OEM exhaust. We have great grip to slow down for these little turns. I love this little section of road. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We have so many cool videos. I'm gonna do more videos on this Daily Driver S6, and I'll probably make a video about my S4 and my S2000, so you can just see what the cars are that uh, the, the guy who owns status detail what I drive. And snow tires are an amazing, excellent value if you drive in this kind of weather. Hope you found this one informative and kind of uh, helps you to make a decision if you're actually in the market for snow tires. And even if you're not, hopefully it just gave you some good insight into how snow tires work. And I hope you guys enjoyed uh, seeing this little S6 run around uh, the winter wonderland out here. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then.